What's going on guys? Uh, Granix here. Welcome back to the Elite Season 1. Today we jump into our game against Nick and uh, I'm really, really excited for this game. Uh, Nick is a guy that I've known for a long time. He's a really, really sound dude. Uh, I've talked to him a lot. I'm really, really excited, excited for this battle because Nick is someone I've only ever played once and that game went uh, a little like this. Uh, so Chiron Black just kind of fucked everything in its, in its path, which is why that's the game where I was like, yeah, Chiron Black's awesome. Uh, I prepped for the wrong team against Nick and Chiron Black just said fuck no and it refused to hit himself in confusion and just outraged his entire team and won the game and it was it was a very very intense game and a game that we narrowly came out I believe it was a 2-0 victory maybe even a 1-0 um, but now it's a very very different story if you take a look at Nick's team uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty I'm, I'm gonna be honest it's a pretty dick matchup for us uh, because you actually can't quite see a second there you see, he has Excadrill, so he has a sand team, and that's really funny, it, it, actually I'll just zoom in. He has a sand team, and that's kind of funny, because we also have a sand team, but I think, I think our team loses against sand? We're gonna find out. I don't know, to be honest. His team consists of, in the in the bottom uh, right hand corner, has Excadrill, Mamoswine, Rosary, Jellicent, Magmortar, Vullaby, Tyranitar, Turnus, Incarnate, Heracross, Guard of War, Swadloon and Mega Latios, while we have Heatran, Landers, Incarnate, Jolteon, Honchkrow, Steelix, Abomasnow, Tapu Fini, Gengar, Mew, Chestnut, Floatzel, and Tyranitar, Mega Tyranitar. So, a um, few things to note, uh, you know, Sand Team, of course, uh, his speed tiers are a little bit weird because, you know, he has Latios on 110, I think Tornadus at 111, but he has nothing that's like in the middle. He is the next fastest man, I believe, is Roserade at 90, which means that, you know, it doesn't do us. A crazy amount of help. It just means Landers is pretty good against his team. Um, I'm I'm right with that, aren't I? Yeah, I yeah. It's Latios. It's Tornadus and Carnet, then Latios, and then next one's Roserade. So uh, let's just get into the team. Um, I did a test battle with Ian. Ian, shout out to Ian, of course. Uh, he was a really really big help in all these games that I do, where I do test battles, and um, you know, it just gave me a little bit of confidence going into this game because I really really am not that confident, um, and. Uh, Okay, so we just start off with the Jackhammer, Landorus, Incarnate, Expert Belt, Sand Force with Earthquake, Knockoff, U-Turn, and Stone Edge. Just enough speed out, speed A, max speed, uh, Roserade, uh, Earthquake, Knockoff, U-Turn, Stone Edge, just coverage for his team, Earthquake kits, majority of things. Stone Edge is there for the Tornadus and the, um, the Vullaby. Knockoff is there for the, uh, the Latios, it's also there for the Jellicent, and the U-Turn is there just for initiative. Um, Mammoth One is a huge check to Landorus, a huge, huge check, and it's... It's a mon that I really, really can't break because it's that scary. Um, it's one of those mons where if I'm not careful, Mamoswine can just sweep me with Ice Shared. So I have to be a little bit careful. Heracross is the same, and so is Excadrill. So those are the three big ones. And also, I mean, Megalatios is fucking Dragon Dance for fuck's sake. You know, there's just so many mons we have to keep in check in this game. So it's definitely very, very scary for us. But I think Landers is a good way to make sure that happens. Um, Landers outspeeds uh, Excadrill without the sand, as long as you know Sand Rush isn't in effect. And also, while Heracross isn't Choice Care or Rose Ray isn't Choice Care, so that's pretty good. Um, next we have Serenity, the Tapu Fini, Leftovers, Misty Surge with Surf, Moonblast, Taunt, and Defog. Um, just running a physically defensive set, and uh, it doesn't really wall anything like well, because Excadrill can still do forty percent to it. But it will be able to one shot it with Surf, and the same with Mamoswine. It can't two. It can't two shot. Uh, Tapu Fini, Excadrill, or Mamoswine without Stealth Rocks being up, which is nice. It also has a decent switch into Latios. Now, not great because Latios is very, very scary, but it's it's not too bad. Um, and Tyranitar, it's a good switch into Tyranitar as well. And Mag Mortar. It's annoying because this week, if I could, I would bring two Tapu Finis because Tapu Fini is really, really good against his team, but I only have one of them. And once he kills that man, his team can run shop on me. Um, the next one we have is Mew, and I, the reason I bring it up so quickly is because they're both together, they're, they're a core of course, but Mew doesn't really do what Tapu Fini does. Mew can take on the Tornadus, um, and it can take on the Magmortar, it can take on the Roserade, which is something that Tapu Fini can't do, and the reason that ultimately Mew is here, but it can't really take on the extra drill of Swine as well, besides the fact that I have Vacuum Wave, which is nice. Vacuum Wave does about 25% to both Excadrill and Mamoswine, which you never know when that's going to matter. Keep in mind also that they can't uh, one-shot Mew, or even two-shot in some cases, um, so I can get off maybe a side shot plus a Vacuum Wave if need be. Uh, and that extra, extra amount of chip uh, on the Excadrill and the Mamoswine could be crucial, you know? Um, 
Uh, and we just have soft ball as well, just to keep ourselves off. Shadow ball is there for the Latios and the uh, Jellicent. And Psy Shock is there just for the, uh, the Roserade. Roserade is very, very scary because you'll notice if Mew dies, I really don't have much for it. And, you know, it, like it, it outspeeds uh, Obama Snow, it outspeeds um, Honchkrow. It destroys Tapu Fini. Uh, Landorus can't one-shot it with my build because I'm not running Fly, even though, keep in mind, Earthquake does it a lot. Mew is really the man that has to take on Roserade, and we can't run specially defensive because without the investment that we have, we unfortunately can't take on the Excadrill or the Mamoswine. So, yeah, I was close running Culverberry, and I might just change it before the game because I'm afraid of Tyranitar, but I don't think Tyranitar is coming, so that's why I'm choosing not to do it. And also, I feel like I could just... You know, I can click. I can click vacuum wave, and it does a decent amount of damage. But you know, I don't think. I don't think it'll come. I don't think it'll come. Yeah. Uh, next we have Schnockta the Obama Snow. Fucking look at this beautiful, beautiful tree, man. This smelly tree, fucking won us the game last week. If you didn't see that game, go check it out because my reaction is very, very funny. We were four one down with an Obama Snow in the back. We clicked Swords Dance two times and then swept a Scamry, Zygarde, uh, fifty percent, Tornadus, and a Chatot. Fucking. So funny. I, uh, that's one of my favorite games I've ever played, just because the sweep is... I swept with an Obama snow. Like, what the... F who fuck does that? We're running the exact same set. Now, I believe the EVs are actually, like, two extra on the uh, speed. But we are running the exact same set. Life Warp, Ice Punch, Ice Shard, Woodhammer, Swords Dance. Uh, this time, though, also, the speed creeping is for a defensive Gardevoir. You never know if that's going to be important. The ability is different, because we're running Snow Warning this week. Last week, we ran Soundproof, because I didn't want... I didn't want Hail. But then it just worked out that we were immune to Chatot's uh, boomers, which actually Ian was saying was a good thing. And I was like, ah, I don't think it'll matter. Absolutely fucking did matter. This, the reason we're running Snow Warning is not because it helps my team. It just, it doesn't, it stops him from sweeping me. Because if Excadrill is in, and say Excadrill is the last mon alive against Obama Snow and Floatzel. The only way Floatzel will win, as you know, is if the hail is up and the sand isn't. So I get a bomb of snow in, I change the weather to snow, that means the next girl doesn't have sand rush anymore. Floatzel can come in and it can do the work. And uh, Floatzel, speaking of Floatzel, we'll get to him next, is a huge, huge part of this team. Wolverine is here, running enough speed to outspeed a max speed Tornadus Incarnate. Choice Banded because we want this thing to hit as hard as possible. And it has really, really good coverage against this team. I was actually considering running an offensive Tapu Fini. But then I chose to run uh, Floatzel instead. Uh, I was still close to running both offensive because you know Tapu Fini is a really, really good matchup offensively. The reason I decided to go with the defensive Tapu Fini is because there's no man on my team does what Tapu Fini does defensively. You'll notice like Mew can't take on Tyranitar. Heatran can't take on Tyranitar. Chestnut can take on Tyranitar and Excadrill, but Excadrill can get Aerial Ace and just one-shot it. So, you know, that's the problem there. Um... But you'll notice that, you know, it has super effective against almost everything. Aqua Jet Waterfall is great against this team. We have Ice Punch there for the Roserate uh, and the Tornadus. And then Crunch is there for the Latios and, uh, well, the Jellicent. Yeah, yeah those two. Uh, because Jellicent is a huge check to Floatzel. While uh, Jellicent is alive, Floatzel really can't sweep. But as long as we kill the... Um, the jealous and it should be okay. And we have two mons, our two offensive mons, literally one v one. Speaking of, we have Raven, the Life Orb, Honchkrow, Moxie, with the Sucker Punch, Night Slash, Superpower, and Brave Bird. I love how I said that. Moxie, enough speed, dead speed, a max speed, Adamant, Tyranitar, because I would think he's gonna run any set. I think he'd run Adamant. I don't think he'd run Jolly. He might, but I, I really doubt it. Um, uh, the Life Orb is there to do extra power, of course, because we need it against you know mons like Jellicent and. You know, Megaladio. Sucker Punch is there because that's really, really good against the team. You can Sucker Punch the Excadrill. If he doesn't have any, like, Swords Dance or anything like that or Rapid Spin, he will have to attack us, which means that we will get gar guaranteed get off a Sucker Punch, which does about 40 to 50%, which is nice. Uh, Latios is the same. It does a ton to Latios. Um, and Super Power does a ton to Uh It's just good. It's just good. Um, now, you'll notice, an, uh, you know, an underlying theme of this team is that Mammoth Wine kind of does wreck it. However, there is Floatzel, there is Tapu Fini, and there is Mew. As long as those three mons are alive, we should be okay. And Obama Snow, because if Obama Snow is killed by Mamoswine, Mamoswine will have to use Stone Edge, which I don't see him running because I think his moveset would want to be Ice Shard for Landers, Earthquake because of course it's a, it's a Mamoswine, Ice Glow Crash to hit the you know things like uh, Chestnut better because he's not going to run you know Ice Shard and just hit with that, and then the last move I think Knock Off for mons like uh, well not Gengar. But I guess for Gengar, yeah, for, you know, if Mew wanted to switch out to Gengar or whatever, he didn't have to predict, he just clicks knockoff. 
Um, but it really is just for Mew, the uh, knockoff. And I think Mew is a bigger, uh, bigger threat than uh, Obama Snow is. So I think, I think he would run knockoff. A Stone Edge really would only hit uh, Obama Snow because I mean, why would he run Stone Edge for Honchkrow when you know Ice Chair does it? You know, so. That's where I'm getting that there. So that's the team. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I don't know. I don't have rocks in this team because bringing Heatran or Steelix or Tyranitar was just too difficult. They don't have good matchup against against this team, and he has one of the best rapid spinners in the game, uh, as well as two more defoggers in Vullaby and Latio. So I felt like bringing uh, Stealth Rocks was just going to be pointless. It would be nice to have them, and actually originally they were on Mew. It was uh, Stealth Rock instead of Soft Boiled, but ultimately I decided to go with Soft Boiled because I think I don't want to waste a turn with Mew going for rocks. I want to be keep attacking, and when I'm not attacking, I want to be healing. So that's the idea of doing that. So that's the team. Uh, I'm not very confident with this. Uh, Keep in mind, Mons like Roserade are very, very scary. Tornadus can be incredibly scary. Like, he doesn't have to bring Sand to sweep me. He can click Tailwind with Tornadus and then send an Excadrill and just destroy me. Same with Mammoth One. If he, yeah, if he runs Tailwind Mammoth One, uh, that's why I have three Mons with priority. Isn't that fucking crazy? Three Mons with priority on this team. Four, actually. I have fucking Vacuum Wave on Mew. Um, yeah, I have four Mons with priority. I really feel like I've done everything I can to stop this game from going horribly, you know, terrible, but. You know, we're gonna see what happens. If you guys are excited, make sure to heavy slam the like button down below first and subscribe if you're not already to become a member of the Agronize. That being said, I'm gonna connect with Nick and uh, we'll be right back. I was just in a fucking call with Ian, just fucking chilling like lads, and then he fucking messaged me, Nick, you sly bastard. Um, Alright, so we're gonna jump into this. I've been looking at Pokemon different recently. I've definitely taken a much more casual approach to it. I'm just here to have fun, but uh, we're going to try our best. <sighs> let's do this. Uh, let's see what he brought. Um, all right. Very, very interesting. He brought the same team that Ian did, except he has Tornadus and Tornator instead of Jellicent and... Uh, Jellicent and uh, Latios, which him not having Latios or Jellicent is fine by me because Jellicent was a huge check to uh, to Floatzel over here. So I kind of just want to lead with Floatzel, and the reason being is because I think he's going to lead with Tyranitar or Mamoswine or something like that. Um, I'd definitely not lead him with Mew because I don't, I'm definitely not leading with Mew because I think. If he leaves a Tyranitar, he'll just kill me. Um, I'll do Tapu Fini, but the thing is, like, when I played in the game with uh, Ian, his lead was Roserade. So I think Floatzel is good because. Yeah. We'll leave with Floatzel, we'll try to get a kill first turn. Uh, if something is Choice Scarf, uh, I might scout for it. I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very worried about these kind of things. And Floatzel is kind of a glass cannon, so just sending him out first turn. Trying to get a kill is really, really sketchy, but uh, ah, fuck it, we'll try it. Fuck it, we'll try it. He's good luck I lost. No fucking way, dude. Tyranitar is surprisingly one of the biggest threats in his team, just because it's it's not difficult to switch into. It's just well, it is, but it's just annoying because to constantly have to think about pursuit on me, which he might not even have pursuit. He might just have like Stealth Rock, Crunch, Stone Edge, Ice Punch. Totally have that, but like, or, or he'd have earthquake actually. Sorry for Heatran, but it's just scary. Think about it. So we'll see what he does. I do expect him to leave with either the Tornadus, the Tornatar, or the uh, the Roserade though. If Heracross is a Moxie set, or sorry, not a Moxie, a Gut set, um, he's not Choice Care, so that's okay. I guess. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, how do we win? His team is severely weak to Obama Snow. Very, very weak to Obama Snow. Like, Ice Shard is good against his team. Does he have a single mon that resists Ice Shard? Nope. Every mon on his team is neutral to Ice Shard or super effective. So that's good. Dude, I'm shaking like a motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, I always get the fucking, sh fucking shimmy shammies before a game. Every single time without fail. It's all this fucking 
shit, I've been drinking. Alright, so he does it with Hercules the fucking hair cross. Now, he could literally claim the kill first turn, and I really can't let him do that, so... I could also swap into Landorus, if I don't want uh, Finny to take the damage. But, what this does, even if he swaps out, it shows me he's not Choice Scarf, and if, it, if he stays in, it shows me he is Choice Scarf, kinda? My hand is actually shaking, what the fuck. Um, I really only have one play, I can't stay in. Because I'm not letting Plotter just die, so... You can also swap a new uh, Rosalred, if he does, can't stop him, but... If he swaps out first, we'll know he's Choice Scarf, if he does swap out, so... Because he could be, you know, just predicting Finny, you know? Fuck, this is such a, uh, a rough matchup. He, his team is just so offensive. Like, look at the fucking six months he brought. They're all offensive in some way. That's crazy. It's a very, very scary team. I just need to be careful around it. Um, Mew is going to be very, very important as well. Which is why I'm afraid of the trash. I was hoping he didn't bring it. Um, so... We're gonna see what we we're gonna see what happens. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna stress about it too much. Like I said, I'm taking more casual approach to it. I'm gonna be a little bit more laid back, but I still do want to win. So we'll try our best. But um, after I go on a Finny, I think if he stays in and play close combat, it'll it will do it. If he's choice banded, I mean fuck. But you know, actually yeah, that's another thing. He could be choice banded and just stay in, thinking oh, I'll live a, a, a waterfall, and then just try to body my Floatzel, which means Finny would take a decent amount of damage. Which means I pr I don't know what I'd do then. That's the thing about his team, like, Finny swaps, I, I do swap out first. Does nothing, okay, so he, he, uh, most definitely is not banded. He's obviously not life orb. Could be expert belt. And, uh, I think, I think I just want to click Moonblast. Uh, or I could swap in a Mew, but I think that would be very, very foolish. I'm going to click Moonblast. He goes on a Rosalind, of course. Um, no special attack drop. He shows the Black Sludge, so definitely a more defensive set. And I think we're going to see a spike here. I could build, pull a very, very offensive switch in a Honchkrow if he's going to spike, but I really can't risk that. I also think he could swap into Rattar. Um, oh, he could do that. I'm going to go on a Landorus, and the reason being is because if you click Sludge Bomb, we'll resist it. And we can't get poisoned. And I think he's either going to spike or swap into Tyrannosaurus. So I'm going to do that. I don't think he's going to click Giga Drain. If he does, he's Black Sludge. So I don't think he'll, he'll do too much. But I think the swap in Tyrannosaurus is so... Incredibly possible. Incredibly, incredibly impossible. So... Not impossible, fucking possible. Also swap in a land, uh, mammoth one. That that's fine though. So turn one, we find out that the uh, the hair cross isn't choice band, which is a bit of a weight off my back, but it is choice scarf more than likely, which is really really fucking scary. He went for the first turn kill. Same thing I did. <laughs> we did the same. We had the same idea. I think his was just a little bit more thought out. Um, we pull a landorus, then a shock. Oh yeah, that's stronger because I think Sludge Bomb will still do more though. Uh, is he Toxic Spikes? Fuck. I think he might be Toxic Spikes. Uh, okay, so do I click Earthquake or U-Turn? Um, let's click Knockoff. I I want to keep, keep Landra so like healthy because. He resists Heracross close combat Megahorn, so if you know Moxie sweeps happening, I could at least live one and maybe do a little, little damage. I think he's going to pull a switch. He might not. See, if Tornadus comes in, if I U-turn and he stays in, what do I do? Going to Mew. And if he swaps out, we know he's not going to turn around here. So I think I go to Mew after I U turn. 
I think he's gonna stay in, but the, I can't risk the earthquake because if Tornadoes comes in, it might just get a kill. So I'm gonna click U-turn, I think. I think he's gonna stay in. But I'm... Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm, he does stay in, yeah. I thought he would, but uh, I can do. I could also go into Mammoth Swine there, but... Or, sorry, the Bombus, no. Goes for Sleep Powder. Doesn't work because of the thing. Um... Uh, hmm. Well, that was pretty lucky for me. Uh, that was just a, uh, just didn't think about it. Uh, right here. I think I'd go back and la I really wish I clicked Earthquake there. I knew, I knew he'd stay in. But I don't know what I was thinking with Mew because now he just goes in Trata. I click, I can click Vacuum Wave. And it'll do about 40%. But it won't to a KO, and he will body me. So I'm gonna switch back in the land or something. It doesn't matter if I was like, life orb, nasty plot. I think vacuum wave still wouldn't kill. Uh, I'll switch into Finny, but that's really risky. I'm gonna go back in the landers. He does switch into Toronto. That's great. Now, Here's a fucking weird position, because I do... He hasn't seen me switch moves. He hasn't seen me switch moves, so he doesn't know if I'm Life Orb... Or, sorry, Choice Scarf or not. So, if he's Choice Scarf and he clicks Ice Punch right here, that's game. But, I think he's more in risk than I am. I could also click U-Turn. Uh, I think U-Turn is a really safe play, because I don't think Earthquake kills... But I don't think he's Choice Scarf because he has a Choice Scarf Heracross. And I think he wants to click Stealth Rock here. So I think I'm going to U-turn and go into Finny. If he's Choice Scarf, Ice Punch, I mean, it sucks. But I can't, like, constantly predict him to be a set that he's not. And then lose because of that. I just have to play with... I don't think he is Choice Scarf because Heracross will be. But, you know, I've been wrong before. I've been very, very fucking wrong before. So we'll see what happens. But I hope that he does just go for a Stealth Rocks here. Or swap out. I think a swap out is also very, very likely. Um, now the sand is up, which means Excadrill is very, very scary at the moment. But as long as we have a Bama Snow there, at least there, just there, we're okay. He does swap out. He does go on a Hercules, the Heracross. And we know this thing is Choice Scarf. Um... <clears throat> Um, I have to go on a Finny. I have to go on a Finny. Absolutely have to go on a Finny. And, uh, he's taking a little bit of chip. Uh, I think he's going to swap out here into the, uh, the Roserade. Uh, I do think I'm just going to Moonblast to get a little more chip on him. I can't really double out because if he just stays and he clicks Bullet Seed, for example, I am kind of boned. That's the uh, the spot we're in. I could also go in a Honchkrow. What's, what's, whoa, don't forfeit. Jesus Christ, I almost, I literally clicked the forfeit button for a second. Um, what's Roserade's speed if he was defensive? Because I think Honchkrow will outspeed. Hantra will outspeed if he doesn't have too much investment. Because we're 222 and he's 216 if he's zero. So, that was an accidental good prep. Um, yeah, I, if he stays in, he's clicking Bullet Seed. If he swaps out, he's going into Roserade. Or, he's going into Tornadus. There's no other swap. Or Mammoth Swine. Like, Mammoth Swine isn't good. Excrude isn't good. Trashar isn't good. However, he saw me go for Moonblast before. Oh, uh, I think, yeah, I think. Yes. Yes, alright. Now, right here, we are going to go for 
what? I don't know. <laughs> I really, really don't know. I want to click... Can I just do something? Hunch Crow. Murder Crow. That's the one. Murderous bastard -y. Uh, Fucking Pursuit does... Wow. So Night Slash, does that kill? Night Slash kills a specially defensive set. Which I think by the damage he did to my Tapu from my Tapu Finny, I think that's what he is. We did 16%. Oh, how much did we do again? Did we do 16%? 16%. Yeah, that's more like that. Okay, so Night Slash does not kill. I think I have to click Brave Bird. Or click Sucker Punch, if I think he's faster, which I don't think he is because I think he has to be a lot of investment to take, you know, hits that well. So Brave Bird, his switch in his Tarantar, I could click Superpower right here, but, you know. If I click Sucker Punch and he swaps out, I don't lose too much, it's just, it's annoying. Don't, uh, don't outspeed Nick, don't you fucking dare outspeed me. Don't you fucking dare. He does swap out. He does go into Tornadus. This thing is dead. Goodbye. Maybe he predicted Superpower. Um, but we get the Moxie, which doesn't really matter because there's a fucking Excadrill right there. And we're probably not going to stay in anyway. But we do kill the... Uh... Oh, fuck. We do... <laughs> we do kill that bastard... Um, that bastard Tornadus, which I don't even have to deal with him, which is... Not going to lie. That's the best feeling I've felt all day. Now... Right here, I think he's going to either click Stealth Rock or Ice Cool Crash. He really can't click Earthquake because of the threat that's in front of him, even though I'm sure he'd want to. I think it's more likely he could click Stealth Rock than click Earthquake, um, to be honest. Um, we're in a good spot, though. We're in a good spot, though. But don't fucking lose this, dude. Don't fucking lose this. Um, if I click Sucker Punch and he clicks Delta Rock, what happens? See ya. What? 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 <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, NVM. I have specs ignored. He's probably saying uh, goodbye to someone who's leaving. Uh, Alright, so, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go to Finny. He could switch out into Roserade, but at that point, I think I'm good. But he, he would not swap a Roserade in on fucking Honchkrow plus one. I'm going to go to Finny. Um, now, right here... I think he'll click Earthquake. Because I think he'll predict me to click Defog. But I think I still click Defog. Because... Honchkrow got a kill though. Hell yeah! Honchkrow got a fucking kill. Um, I need to get rid of these rocks though. His switch in a Roserade is... So absolutely 100%. So I'm going to click Defog. He does click Earthquake. Wow. I thought he would. So, right here. He does a lot of damage. But he really can't stay in. So I'm just going to click Surf. If he stays in, this 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 thing is dead. It's dead to a surf after that life orb damage. And we get a little bit of chip on the uh, Roserade. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'll take that little bit of damage on uh, Finny to, you know, you know, get to where we are now. So, we're in a weird spot. Because we can click Moonblast right here predicting the Tyranitar. But that would be a little bit too ballsy, I think. For my little, my little brain. Um, yeah, I did think he would stay in predicting the defog but I still I, I stand by that because look look at where we are the mammoth wine is taking a little bit of chip you know and we're we're chilling and if I click surfed he would have just earthquaked again which means we never would have got rid of the rock so I'm happy with that um wait he went for defog on his mammoth wine does that mean Tarantara has choice locked in some way it could mean that uh I don't know for sure uh actually the fucking thing is gone oops the Misty Train's gone. Uh, 
He's never gone to Tyranitar before, so why would he do it now? Is what I'm thinking. I think he's just gonna go Sludge Bomb. Or, no, I can't stay in. I, maybe... Landorus is fine. It's a fine switch in. It's whatever. If he goes in Mamoswine, it's fine. It's whatever. It's fine, dog. He wouldn't switch Mamoswine in predicting the Mew. I'm gonna go to Landorus because I feel like Landorus is safe enough. We'll take more damage, of course, but it's not f that big a deal. Um, but now his ground resistance is gone. The only one left is Heracross. We swap out first, which is like... Yeah, he did swap. He's, he goes for Sleep Powder. I probably should have predicted that. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, <sighs> hmm. uh, so, we're in, a, we're in a bit of a... We're a bit of a shitty spot right now. Um, can I just check something? If you're a defensive Roserade, which I believe you are, do you take... You probably do because the Bomb of Snow is ridiculously weak. Um, yeah, you you don't die. Even an adamant one. You do 43. No way. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a free sleep pattern. As long as he hit it, you know. Uh, his switch in, I believe he just sets up Toxic Spikes. I don't think he goes into Tyranitar right here. I think he goes for Toxic Spikes or Giga Drain. So I'm going to go to Haunch Crow. I'm going to go to Murder Crow. I'm going to go into your boy, Raven. <sighs> That's so Raven. That's so fucking Raven. Now, okay, the Sleep Powder sucks. But it's not the end of the world. Because Mount Landorus wasn't crazy important. It was just nice to have. Um, that Tornadus being gone as well is great. Because, you know. I believe Tornadus was one of his Z-mons. So he could have been like Z, Z Sludge Wave. And just completely fucking bodied my Tapu Fini. Which would not have been fun. He was obviously... I think he was definitely predicting the superpower on the Tornator. And going into Tornadus. Or he was just sacking a mom. I, I don't know. But I think... I. Or maybe Tornadus wasn't good against his, my team. Maybe he was predicting, you know, Gengar. And, you know. I go into Raven. Doubles out. Goes into Mammoth Wind. <sighs> I really don't want to lose this thing. I really, really don't because it's great against the Roserade. Um, but I really don't want to go into Finny. Uh, and the reason this is good is because I can click Vacuum Wave against this thing, and even if he goes in Tarantar, I'm doing 40% and then another 40%. I'll just check just to make sure, because I actually, I didn't take into account Sandstorm, so maybe, maybe I'm a little bit off. But I think it sh still should do enough to where I'm happy. Peace Choice Banded, Vacuum Wave does nothing. Nothing, 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 what the fuck. I think I think he clicks no, if he clicks earthquake, I'm fucked. I can't go on Floatsum. Could go on Obama Snow. I could go on Obama Snow, because I think he clicks Earthquake or Stealth Rock. I really already clicked Ice Shred. Because he knows Finny is my switch now. He's seen it. Or he predicts me to stay in and clicks Ice Core Crash, which wouldn't be nice. That wouldn't be nice either. I think Mew is a decent switch. I really wish I ran U-turn on Mew. I was very, very close to. But I can't have Finny take more damage. Or do I? <sighs> okay, let me think. I don't think rocks are really important to him. He just wants to attack. I think he's going to attack right now. I think he, had, I think he clicks Ice Skull Crash. I do. I think he clicks Ice Skull Crash because this thing is too scary. Uh, I could click Sucker Punch. I don't think he... Yeah. I don't think he's going to Stealth Rock. So I could just Sucker Punch. But this thing is really nice against the rest of his team. And I do not kill from that range. No hope in the fucking world. I'm going to go on a... F no. Finny needs to be alive to swap a hair across the crowd sweep. I'm going to go on a Mew. Ice Skull Crash. Yep. There's very, very little. We see the Life Orb damage. And um, at this point, I think I'm just going to click Vacuum Wave. Uh, I'm done 
pussy footing around the Tarana Tower. It, it's gonna come in, I know it. And if he stays in, uh, hey, that's awesome. But I'm gonna click vacuum wave, I don't care anymore. Mew is dead weight at this point. Mew wasn't really for anything that he brought. Mew, well, Mew was for the, the Tornadus and the Roserade, which Roserade is defensive, which is not a threat to me, as long as Landorus wakes up soon. So, that's that. I believe Misty Terrain will wake up the Landers though. I don't I don't know that for a fact, so don't, please don't quote me, but... Uh, yeah. We'll see what he does right here, though, because Mew is kind of weird. I mean, he he's playing a lot of... I'm, I'm playing a lot of mind games with him right now. Um, but I do think the Tyranitar will just come straight in. If he stays in... I mean, he could also stay in, but I think... I think Mammoth Swine is a little bit too valuable for him to just... Keep in against a Mew, which he knows nothing about. You know, he doesn't know anything about me. He's seen leftovers, uh, but he hasn't seen me use a move. I doubled out last time, so. And uh, that little bit of life orb chip is nice. Puts him closer in range of an aqua jet, if it gets to that point. So. Uh, and the damage on Tyranitar is also very, very appreciative. If he clicks Pursuit when I stay in, though, I will live. Which is the, the funny thing. Pursuit will do nothing if I stay in, which I'm planning to. So, in comes Godzilla Tyranitar. I click Vacuum Wave. That was a crit. What the fuck? That did... That did dick. That did less than dick. Oh, I didn't put in max HP. That still didn't do as much as it should. Shows he has investment. Um, maybe a defensive Tyranitar. No. Pursuit. If he is not that... If he's not choice banned. Wait, is he? Let's say Smooth Rock. I didn't check last time, but I don't. I think. No, I don't think he's Smooth Rock. But let's just say Smooth Rock. No, that's the no, that's the fucking wrong ability. No, the sand is up, and he has a Smooth Rock. I fucking, I'm such a dick. Uh, Pursuit can't kill me if I want to save this thing. And. I think I just stay in though. He's he's not Stealth Rock because Mamoswine is. So I think I just get a little more damage in and then go into Float Soul and pick up a kill. Uh, I think that sounds good to me. So I think he's gonna pursue something to back him with. If he Dragon Dances, that's also fine because we still have uh, Aqua Gel on Float Soul. So that would be completely fine if he. Well, if he Dragon Danced a few times. I mean, and actually, if he Dragon Danced once, that'd be the scariest because we wouldn't have a lot of damage on him. That was a. Cr actually, that was a crit. Wait. What set is this? Crunch. Doesn't kill. Uh, yeah, we could have just swapped out right there. Um, I think here is where he clicks pursuit, but I don't know if it kills me. So I can stall him out. I'm gonna stall him out. I'm gonna stall him out of these uh, sand sandstorm turns because there's no reason for me not to. Crunch doesn't do. What the fuck is this Tyranitar set? How is Mew taking less than forty percent from a Tyranitar? There's something weird about this Tyranitar. That is actually... Is he special? How much did he do? 41. See, he's careful. He got a very, very low roll, so... He got a low roll. I, he got a very, very low roll. He's defensive. Well, obviously he's defensive. He's doing dick for damage with Crunch. And he took nothing from a vacuum wave, which should have done three times the amount, but... He's doing less than dick for damage, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to stall at the Sandstorm turns because, one, I want to keep you around. And if he clicks Pursuit right here, I might be out of range of the next one, even if I swap out. Which is just, you know, you know fucking awesome. Um, and he might even swap out. I mean, I, I, he's no reason to swap out. It's just kind of a 50-50. I click Soft Worlds. He clicks Pursuit. There's nothing. Uh, we are now out of range of a uh, another one. For sure. I could click soft boil, but I really want damage on this thing. Mew being around, that soft boil was just to, you know, dick with him a little bit. I think it's pursuit again as, we, as well. Click like vacuum wave. Click pursuit. Nice. And, uh. Crunch is 41. Uh, he definitely clicks crunch right here, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna click soft boil though. I'm gonna click soft boil. He goes in a hair cross, it's fine. Because we're still only getting these sandstorm turns. We're going to find out right now if this thing is soft smooth rock. Because I don't remember. I don't think it was. Uh, he clicked crunch. He is not smooth rock. 
He's not smooth rock. That's cool. That's cool. And the pursuit, the, the defense drop is coming. If he gets the defense drop, I'm gonna give up. Okay, he doesn't get it. Um, I'm out of range, so I'm gonna click. Actually, well, the sand is gone. That's gonna do more now. And do I soft boil again? I'm gonna fucking soft boil. So you don't fuck it. Um, he's waiting for that defense drop. But I, I have 12 more soft boils, boy. I can do this all day. Mew is 1v1ing a fucking Tyranitar. <laughs> Uh, there's the defense drop. That's that. Uh, he... Yeah, he got me there. I, I, yeah, that was gonna, gonna happen eventually. But we will, you know, basically kill this turn out there. Uh, he's gonna click crunch again. Uh, I could've swapped it, well. Uh, so, right here, I think I go on a float zone. Uh... I think I click ice punch, as weird as it sounds, because... He actually brought a very defensive team. I know I just said at the start that his team is very, very offensive, but he's obviously ran it very bizarrely. Uh, Ice Punch to a specially defensive set, just about, it's a roll. On Roserade, how much does a defensive Roserade take from a Floatzel's Waterfall? Uh, it does not kill after from two, which is uh, pretty, pretty unfortunate. He is not smooth rock, but he's changed up his moves. Which means he's not choice scarf, which means he's not... I think I go on a hunch crawl. I do, actually. I do go on a hunch crawl, because I definitely outspeed this thing, and I'm going to click superpower. No doubt in my mind. And this thing, if this thing dies, his, uh, you know, his thing is dead. His uh, sand setter, which means Excadrill is going to be useless after that. Now, we lose Mew, which is scary, because that was one of our checks to... Mamoswine and Excadrill, but we still have Finny and we still have Floatzel, which is the other most important one. If Roserade dies, Floatzel can 1v1 the rest of his team with a choice band of Waterfall plus Aqua Jet, so that's that's really, really good. We're, we're, we're okay. Which is why I'm surprised he didn't bring Jellison. He obviously, you know, was too scared of, you know, Obamasnow maybe. He said at the start as well that he was like, he, oh, he's like, oh, I lost. Maybe he didn't prep for Obamasnow or something. But, uh, Honcho's the man giving him problems right now. If he goes in a Roserade, I think I'm just gonna... I don't know. I mean, he would attack, I assume, because... What would he use? Sludge Bomb? Yeah, he'd use Toxic Spikes if he didn't attack. Because he's already slept Powder Me. He can't do it again. Well, he can, but, you know, it wouldn't work, and then he'd just be wasting... Ah, he could do that. He could waste out my Sucker Punches. He does provide... He does go on a Mighty Cyrus to the Roserade, and, um... That does so fucking much! What the fuck? That's a re resisted my ass. Uh, so, um, uh, this thing, I don't know if I outspeed it. Do I click Sucker Punch? Do I click Brave Bird? I don't know. I don't really want to click Brave Bird because I think he might. Nah, he went double. But I think he could, you know. What would I do? Okay, wait, okay, so. His moveset is probably, okay, we've seen Venusshock, Sleep Powder, Giga Drain, probably Hidden Power Ground. He has to attack me. Yes, okay. So he didn't double. Okay, I thought he was, might. That means that Floatzel, Floatzel is in the driver's seat right now. Please keep that in mind. So, I think the Heracross comes in. Or the, ah, uh, well, the Mammoth one, sorry. Um, the Mammoth one definitely comes in. Now, what Mammoth Wine does is fucking up for debate, but we'll find out. Um, Mammoth Wine fucking... Hunchcrow getting two kills! I'm so proud of my boy Hunchcrow. I'm so proud. Ugh. People, uh, I was worried when I picked up Hunchcrow because I was, I was like, it's a glass cannon. I don't know if it'd do great. Dude, it's doing some work right now. I am so happy about Hunchcrow. So, Excadrill isn't coming in, I don't think. I don't think... Tyranitar is coming in because he knows what happens. So it's either Heracross or Mousewing. I think either way, something has to die. I don't think it's Honchkrow because it Sucker Punches. Well, no, Sucker Punch doesn't work with Ice Shard, right? Uncle Wayne. Yeah, if he Swords Dances. If he Swords Dances, that's fine because we still have Floatzel. So, this thing being out here, is he Choice Scarf? We see no Mold Breaker, so he obviously is Sand Rush. Or he's Sand Force. I mean, he might be, but I don't know. I don't think so. 
Um, if he swords dances, I mean, that is kind of, you know, that is kind of sucky. I really am confused about where this thing is here. Um, if he swords dances, am I scared? Not really, because can I just check one thing? I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty, pretty sure. Waterfall guaranteed Oko, so. But there's no point in sucker punching, so, because, like, it doesn't matter. What's he doing? Is he clicking Stealth Rock? I think. I guess. I guess I go on a Finny. I don't know. Uh, I think he's gonna click Iron Head, because it's the thing that'll hit my entire team, except for Floatzel. Um. I don't really want to let my hunch crow die, though. I don't want to let it die. However, I could go on Landorus. I'm going to go on a Landorus, and the reason being is because Landorus is kind of useless at this point, and if there's any mon that I could could sack, it is Landorus. If Landorus wakes up, I mean, hey. Hey. You know, but I don't think so. I mean, I don't think Iron Head would... Just straight up Oko me, and if we wake up first turn, that'd be pretty good. But if he doubles out, I mean, I'll just stay in. Um, he could predict the Finny and go for Earthquake, but I think that'd be a little bit, you know. I think he'll just click Iron Head. Uh, he could click Rock Slide, predicting the, you know, the Obama Snow, but he just click Iron Head. <laughs> he just click Iron Head. So I'm gonna go on a Lander. So he's gonna Iron Head right here. He's gonna do 65%. Uh, so we see the Life Orb. And I'm going to try for the first turn wake, but I'm not going to get it, I'm sure. Uh, no. So, uh, he's going to kill my uh, my boy. And uh, we're going to go in a float soul. We're going to go in a float soul. And I think we get a kill. We get a kill right here. If he goes into Heracross, we do enough to where he dies from anything. So, I mean, he could go in... I mean, I don't know if Heracross takes it even. I don't know. I haven't calculated. I mean, Heracross is... a Rail, which is why I say that, but it might die. It might be a roll, I don't know. I don't know. Floatzel isn't a fucking life taker, it's just good, you know the way. <laughs> but I think the uh, I think the Tyranitar is gonna come in here. And then I don't know. Or maybe just I don't know. I think I think actually yeah, I think extra uh, or Heracross is his only play. It's his only play. He has one play and it's Heracross. Or this thing does. Yeah, I click waterfall, I'm just checking. <laughs> Yeah, um... This is a weird game. This is a very, very weird game. We we both prepped in, like, ways that we expected the other person to do something crazy, and we're both playing it very, very safe. <laughs> I think, anyway. I mean, yeah, he's, he's definitely playing uh, much more... Um, f more intelligent than I am, because I'm just... <laughs> clicking moves. But... Yeah, I could save Landers there by going into Floatzel, because I knew he was going to click Iron Head, but the, the risk... And also, I mean, I, there's no need for Floatzel to take that damage. Um, I, I guess, I mean, Landers was, was not going to wake up. I don't know how, um, if Misty Terrain does that, if it wakes you up the first turn. If it does, then, you know, maybe it could have, but maybe I could have brought Landers back. But Landers doesn't have any moves to hit Heracross, because I'm dumb. I wanted Stone Edge. I wanted Stone Edge, so... And I want to knock off for uh, Jellicent, so I just there was no there, there's no move to fit. So I think the Heracross will come in. It'll be close to whether uh, Waterfall will kill or not. It'll probably do about sixty six percent. It'll be at about ten percent. So he'll die from like two sets of sand. Um, at this point, though, Finny does take on somewhat the rest of his team. The, the reason I say somewhat is because he can earthquake Mamoswine, let that thing die into Excadrill. But as long as Obama Snow is alive to reset the sand to snow, I think we should be okay. As long as Floatzel is alive as well. Which Floatzel is definitely fucking proven to be awesome right here in this position. Um, so, come on, Nick. I, th I mean, obviously, yeah, he's definitely taking his time. He definitely should. He needs to figure out what he needs to do. I think the Heracross is coming in, though. If Excadrill just dies, I'll be a little bit surprised. But maybe he realizes he'll realize that... He's going to Macho Man. Okay, alright. Landers, or uh, What's his face dies. Uh, Mammoth Wine dies. That's a huge weight off my shoulder because... That's that Hunt Crow. Here comes Hercules. Um, this thing doesn't die. Um, 
I can't let Obama Snow die. He's choice, Gareth. We know this. We know this. You know? Uh, Finny. Oh, you can't mind. Uh, against a Heracross. He's choice, Scarf. Uh, Mega Horn would do 20%. Stone Edge would do 24. If he gets Bullet Seed, right? He has Bullet Seed. Which is uh, Ian's favorite move, which is why I bring it up. If he gets f three hits, it'll do that much. I mean, hey, it might. So maybe I shouldn't. But if he runs Bullet Seed, then I just... Ooh, maybe I don't. Maybe I go on a Honchkrow. As, long, as, as good as a, a matchup as Honchkrow has right now, I, maybe I do let it die. Um, if he has Bullet Seed, he'll win. I could hard read Bullet Seed right now, but I really don't want to. At 80%, do I kill Excadrill with... Nah, I can't check. Nah, I'm not bothered checking that. I can't let Floatzel die. Floatzel beats the last two mons. How much does uh, Floatzel's... Okay, I just need to really think about how I win this game. Because it is... It is very, very close. Waterfall to 70 to 83. So it actually, it had a chance to kill me. It had a chance to kill him, sorry. That is actually fucking photo. Wow. photo, my boy. Um, no wonder he didn't go into it. I'm going to go on Honch Girl because if he clicks Bullet Seed, uh, I can't have Finny take two hits. At plus one, Finny can take like three or four hits and then just kill it with a Moonblast and he doesn't have a switch in a Moonblast. So there's that. But Honchkrow needs to die right now. Uh, Honchkrow is a great match against x and is a great match against Thrasher. But in this scenario, it needs to die. And Mammoth One is dead. So, you know, her I mean, it is good, but it just it's the, it's the least useful mod. I guess Obama Snow could be as well. But if he sets up the sand... Well, wait, let me think about it again. You have Floatzel with Aqua Jet, yeah? How much does Aqua Jet do to Excadrill? It has a chance to kill. <sighs> maybe, I, maybe I sack off a bomber snow. Because I do think he's clicking bullets either here. He's no reason not to. He has it. But it is a roll. That's a ma that's a that's a pretty mean roll. And what do I do after I let bomber snow down? Go into Finny. I mean, you know, then I have no switch in. Yeah, bomber. Yeah. I'm gonna let Raven go down. Uh, I really don't want to. I want to let Obama Snow die, but I think I think the sand might just be a little bit too important. I don't know if it is. I really don't think so. It is, but I think I'm gonna do that anyway. I'm sorry, Oscar. Well, let's see. Close combat. Now we're gonna have Finny. Now he could have been playing me the whole fucking time, and he's not choice scarf, but I think he is. I think right here I click surf. Moonblast. If I click Moonblast and he goes on Excadrill, what happens? Just Surf afterwards. I mean, Surf wouldn't kill him anyway. He, I think he could stay in though, which is the thing. I think he could just stay in. Uh, although this is the only way he wins. Like once this thing dies, it's over. So I do want to... No, he will swap out. If he's not Choice Garf, play the Sentry. But at that point, he'd be at minus one, which means I think Floatzel still would clean up with Waterfall. At minus one, I think it does. Yeah, actually, so yeah, we have the game no matter what, I think. I think we have the game no matter what. Because if he kills me right here with a move that he's showing he's not choice care. Afterwards, I go in a Floatzel, I outspeed this thing, I kill because of the minus one Waterfall. Or I kill whatever he comes into. If I kill this thing, he goes in Trasher, I go in Obama Snow, I set up the Hail, and then maybe he doubles back and forth. I don't know. I think I still have it, though. I just need to be careful about what move I lock myself into Floatzel with. I think I have it though. I'm clicking Surf. Because it is the right play. How much does Close Combat do again? I think it does like 20%. Uh, maybe someone's saying it's a 50-50. I mean, it comes down to whether... 
he was... I mean, actually, yeah, that's a good point. If he gets to minus two, Surf might kill anyway. I didn't even think of that. Surf, well, Scald to out. That's extra. I was going to say. It probably does about 30%. Yeah. So if he's at minus two... 57 to 67. It won't kill, but I, I, don't, I don't think he'd stay in. If he's at plus one... He can't two-shot me. He can't two-shot me, and I still have leftovers. So, I do click Surf, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. If he needs the mana, I sack if need be. I think. But it's just whether he's been bluffing the Choice Scarf the whole time and he's not. But I really don't think he is. I really don't think he is. I think he's just kind of figured out, do I go on a Tyranitar now and let that die, or do I go on an extra little and try to win with Tyranitar? I think he wants to go on Tyranitar now, and then go back into Hercules. Nick! Nick the play, dude. I think he will go into Tyranitar, though. Yeah. Tyranitar dies. No, never mind. Tyranitar doesn't die. Um, so, I click Moonblast again, I think, and the reason being is because if he doubles back in Heracross. Yep. Uh, so... In comes this thing. Uh... After this, I go into... Oh! Wait. If he's Sand Force... If he's Sand Rush, can he kill me? Probably. No, he can't with Earthquake, no. Surf. Because he'd take... Uh, what's it called? Damage. Surf is a guaranteed kill after the... Uh... It's roll kind of in my favor, but we'll see. I don't know what he's saying. He's saying, basically, Earthquake, if he's... If he, oh, sorry, if it's Adam. No, not Quirky. <laughs> you Quirky. Uh, yeah. It can't kill me as long as... If I swap into... I could swap into Bomb of Snow right now. Set up the snow. He kills me. I go into Floatso. I... I would Aqua Jet. Yes, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so how much did Aqua Jet do before? How much did Aqua No, Aqua Jet did 80, it said, I think, right? It did 80. No, not that set. Fucking hell. Uh, I hate calcing in these situations because it's so. Uh, sent tense. Yeah, it would kill if I sacked my bombs right here. I go into Floatzel. I would kill him, because he takes snow damage as well. Keep in mind. Uh, I'd kill him. Actually, I'm... No, I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm jolly. Uh, and then he goes into Heracross. And Aqua Jet would do 35 to 42. He'd kill me. Then I go into Finny. I live, and I kill him. Maybe I do that. Because I need Finny for the Heracross. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Obama Snow. I'm going to go into Obama Snow. I'm going to sack a bomb of snow, set up the sand, uh, the, the snow. Goodbye, bomb of snow. You did as well. Now, the reason I click Aqua Jet is because... Oh, he wanted to flinch me right there. Yeah. That was the only way he won. Uh, Heracross dies to two Aqua Jets, so if he doubles out, we would kill him. And then I, I Aqua Jet right here. If he swaps in a Heracross, we win guaranteed. If he doesn't, that means I get damage on Heracross. I get damage on Heracross, and then he close combats me. He can't click anything else. If he has Bullet Seed, he will win. But I'm willing to take that risk. And you know what? Losing to Nick is whatever, because Nick is a great player. But I think he will swap out here. I hope he is. He does! Yes! 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 And that barely... Okay, it's a roll. It's a fucking roll, lads. I could swap out. Oh, that's a roll. It's saying that's the low roll. I got the lowest rolls, so... I think the safe thing to do is sack Finny. 
The safe thing to do is sack Finny. But I don't want to give up differential. It shouldn't be about differential, but it is. 35... <laughs> I just sounded so Irish there. 35.8... Uh, uh, that's Scottish, though. Fuck. Um... He's at 36%. How much is he? He's at 109. Oh. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Don't live, don't live. Don't you fucking dare live. If he does live, I think we still do win. Because Finny should live an Iron Head as long as we don't get flinched. Because I'm, I'm, I'm done with getting flinched in fucking Pokemon. It's not fun. Um, We should live. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, don't live, don't live, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck him! Fuck him! You <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you save differential in the fucking Pokemon League. Yeah boy! <laughs> GG to Nick, dude. Thank you for the game. That was a lot of fun. My boy floats so Did he get three kills? Three kills, and Finny getting one. I'm sure too. GG, dude. That was a really, really fun game. Um, oh, Floatzel coming through in the end. I knew when I saw the matchup with Nick, I was like, okay, Floatzel is how I win. Um, I got the replay. Um, I knew that when I saw the matchup, Floatzel was going to be a huge part of this, and uh, I think we played it to perfection. I think the Bomb of Snow was a perfect switch. And we got lucky on the Aqua Jet roll. Well, we didn't get lucky because apparently, you know, according to this, you know, that, that is the main roll. But he probably did have, like, I guess, like, 30-something. So, it, you know, it, it did change the roll slightly, um, I think. So, all right, cool. Can't believe you brought, brought Floatzel. It's a beast. It really is. I love Floatzel. Uh, Floatzel is a man that I draft in every league now because it's low tier and it's great. Uh, it's really really good and I think this this battle here proved it um, It's speed tier is nice. It has decent attack, you know enough to be you know solid it is priority Decent coverage for you know the mods it needs to hit um, Oh Is that why you said GG at the start Because he said like immediately like oh well, I thought you bring rain for it though I guess, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, I thought you bring Rainford though. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if also in the rain is like super scary, but I think uh, yeah, Watervale is fine. It doesn't get burned. You know, you never know. Um, GG, dude. Uh, Nick is so fucking awesome, dude. Guys, just make sure to leave some. Love for him in the comment section down below. He's really, really nice. I've talked to him for like fucking hours before on Skype. He's really, really sound. And uh, th Nick, thank you for the battle. We are now uh, three and two with a positive one differential because I fucked up last week. We actually weren't zero differential. I know I kept going on about it. How we, this was the start. Um, I know we were saying about this is the the the, the revamp of the season, but it really wasn't because uh, you know. <laughs> we were we were minus one because I'm a fucking idiot, but we are now uh, Three and two with a plus one differential uh, next week. We play an Azurman and after that we play craft and after that we play uh, I think Amp after that and then DJ and we have a lot of really really fun games coming out I know that school is finished for me. I'm done my exams. There's gonna be a lot more videos pumping out I'm gonna have a Nuzlocke coming up very very soon. So excited for that. I'm gonna have a um more league battles that I'll get to in maybe an update video. I don't know if that update video has gone up before this, but you know, you'll know basically soon what that is about, or maybe you already know. And um, just really, really excited uh, for the weeks to come and you know, the, the few months to come. So, with that being said, guys, have yourselves a wonderful day and make sure to come back next week for our battle against Nazarman. This battle has been an hour long, so I'm gonna stop wasting your time and let you guys uh, go away. But uh, with that being said, have yourselves a wonderful day and bye bye.